job. Yeah, we're leaving our base here at Pebble Mill in Birmingham after more than 30 years. Plans have just been released to show how this site will be redeveloped, creating hundreds of jobs. Well, our business correspondent, Mark Foster, is somewhere around here to tell us what it's all about. I'm just outside actually, Nick, and as you say, in those 30 years, Pebble Mill has brought you some fantastic programmes on television and, of course, on radio. That's Felicity Finch. She plays Ruth in The Archers. And, of course, every night we bring you Midlands Today. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Better not say too much. They're struggling with the next link. But what I can tell you is Nick will remember a lot of this. Opened by the Princess Royal in 1971, Pebble Mill quickly established itself as a major broadcasting centre. Shows like Pebble Mill at One paved the way for daytime television. There was drama like All Creatures Great and Small. That's the problem. And who could forget the skateboarding duck? But now the leafy suburban site is to be redeveloped into a high-tech business park. Traditionally, this area has had an over-dependence on the automotive sector, so we've got a strategy drawn up to try and diversify that business base and to try and bring in um, high technology uses, information technology uses. Work will start later this year and the site will be the first of a series of developments forming a high-tech corridor along the A38 from Birmingham through the University, Longbridge, a former engineering site in Bromsgrove and onto the Science Park in Malvern. The BBC's new home is being constructed at the mailbox complex in the centre of Birmingham. In broadcasting, everybody is now moving into new areas, new ways of working, new, new kind of work culture. And the BBC cannot be left behind. We want to be part of it. And one way was to move to the mailbox, which is in the heart of the city centre. The general public will have much access to the BBC, which I think, in terms of the licence fee payers, is a great thing. The first public area should be completed by July, and from here, licence payers will be able to see it first-hand if they're getting value for money by watching the Radio WM presenters at work. Gosh, spooky, isn't it? It is a bit. If you want to see uh, the progress of our new home at the mailbox, you can log on to the webcam on the Birmingham BBC website. Right now, progress with the weather. Here's Shafali. Thank you, Suzanne. Well, temperatures have risen above and beyond what you'd expect for the time of year, which is a welcome change to the chill of the past few weeks. But we are in between systems at the moment. Low pressure is going to take over later in the week. So even though the temperatures will still remain mild, it is going to be unsettled weather. But for the time being, it's quite settled. Tonight, we've got some broken cloud. It's dry as well. We're certainly frost-free tonight as temperatures dip to 3 Celsius only and the winds are going to be coming in at a light 8 mile per hour wind from the east but uh, we have got some mist developing towards the end of the night towards morning and so the morning starts off with a few mist patches around but very quickly we'll start to see the sunshine coming through where the cloud breaks up and that's most likely in the east of the region because throughout the day we're going to see the cloud increasing from the west as another frontal system comes in but like today it'll stay dry throughout daylight hours so cloudier in the west during the afternoon more sunshine in the east and temperatures tomorrow like today up to nine or 10 Celsius and the winds still lightish at about 10 miles per hour from the east. Now the rest of the week looks mild but the winds are going to be picking up, remaining unsettled but for Wednesday cloudy but dry and then rain for Thursday and windy but mild. Thanks very much, Shafali. Well, finally, you may remember our story about the rabbits abandoned after Christmas, which we featured on Midlands Today last week. Well, since revealing their plight, all of the rabbits at Eileen Callow's home in Worcester have been rehoused, well, rehutched. <laughs> uh, in fact, she took so many calls, there's now a waiting list for people willing to take rabbits from other rescue homes across Worcestershire. So I'm rather glad we uh, kept our ears to the ground on that one. <laughs> I love rabbits. I'm glad they've got homes. Well, that's about it from us for now. Tomorrow, we'll be taking a look at how work on the new Bullring Centre is coming along in Birmingham and asking what you think of the futuristic new Selfridges department store building. That's it from us. A very good night to you. Bye-bye.